Maze Lane. Hi guys, I'm in Barnet Park, so it's something a bit different today. Um, I thought I'd try and get some flower photography done. I think I'm a little bit late, believe it or not. Um, I thought it was winter, but a lot of the flowers seem to look dead to me. I'm using a new lens. I've got the, um, the lens baby 85mm uh, lens. It's a manual lens. So it's manual focus and manual aperture. So that's going to be interesting for me. But I'm having flashbacks of when I got the other lens, you know, the, the 35mm macro Canon, and that was autofocus. So I'm hoping I'm not going to have the same issues and struggles. But I probably will get struggles because it's all manual. So I'm going to give that a go, see what I can get slightly different um, vlogging setup today because obviously I'm out in a public park so I can't have my other tripods out and stuff so see how we get on I haven't really come prepared. I thought I'd be able to do it, shoot down low, but I just get so breathless, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. So I, sh I should have bought this little gadget I bought, and I'll show you that on the next video maybe, when I bring it out. I really should have brought it. I didn't because it's a little bit heavy, but it allows you to act like a little ground tripod sort of thing. And it would have worked really good for that. So, I'll give it another go doing some pictures down there, but it's really low down and it's just really awkward, especially with an 85mm lens. I think I'm just too close. So I'm learning the lens and uh, yeah, I'll give it another go, see how we get on. Hi guys, just uh, stopped for a coffee break. A little good, good little cafe here. So you should have seen maybe in the in the last segment. I was using the lens, baby. It's a manual. It's a manual lens, and I found if you put it on the um, f4 um, stop. It's a lot easier for the focusing and the camera's peaking seems to work a lot better. It took a while to actually get used to seeing the peaking. It's hard to spot. Um, but once you get the distance right, it has got a macro mode on the lens, but I find that that's a bit why I should learn the lens a bit probably a bit over the top. So to step back a little bit I think. And it worked out a bit better. So Hopefully I've got some usable shots there. I'll have a walk around 
to see what else we can find. But the problem is that it's all like ground flowers, really low down, not good for me. But we'll see what we can do. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. Maybe a go that the lens by beat. It's a real learning curve. I really do miss the autofocus, and I really miss my tripod. Um, so, so by a case of getting used to handheld manual lens, or try and get tripod shots and do it that way. But it's quite it's quite a learning curve, I must say. So, if you're going to get a lens baby, it is a learning curve. But they all say that that it's a learning curve so it's nothing I didn't anticipate I sort of knew that it would be a learning curve but it really is quite difficult especially with the peaking on the camera it's not as if it's not working or I don't I'm just not seeing it, it doesn't always it's not always visible to me so it's quite hard to uh, get the manual focus so I'm gonna have to look into that about the peaking um, find out what's going on with that anyway I hope it is working and it's just so I don't notice it so then I'll get used to it without me but if it's not working properly because of the manual lens then that's not good is it anyway I'm gonna head out of this park now and head back this picture was shot wide open at 1.8 and you can see that nice velvety glow effect the Lens Baby Velvet 85 is really good to give you that sort of artistic -y feel. However, it is quite a difficult lens to master, as with most of the Lens Baby lenses, I believe. It's because of the effects it's given in camera. So by putting it onto F4 when you're first starting out, it makes it a lot easier to do the manual focusing. And as you can see, I did sort of nail some of the focusing quite well. So it can't be that hard if I've nailed it straight away. Um, I was having problems with peaking. Sometimes I couldn't see the peaking. Sometimes I, I could see the peaking. But it's, it's a brand new lens and you know what I'm like when I get a brand new lens. It takes me a few tries. This photo walk was quite interesting because I was photographing in public and I don't normally photograph in public so um, it was a case of pushing myself out there to do this photo walk but I really wanted to test this lens with some colour and I knew there were some flowers about in that park so I just had to go and do it and bite the bullet as it were um, and just ignore all the people around me and um, it worked out pretty well. I hope you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe, um, it all helps the algorithms and it helps me and motivates me to get out the door and do more of these photo walks. I will do a lot more um, 
photography videos with that uh, lens baby velvet um, because I need to keep it on the camera for at least a few weeks so I can get used to it and master that lens. I would like to try some other lens baby lenses but for now I'll stick with this lens, learn it as best I can and see what I can get from it. Anyway, enjoy.